Hey guys, it is Blair from Bitten by Book Lust here and I am going to be doing a review on Wuthering, Withering, Withering Tights by Louise Renison in The Misadventures of Tallulah Casey. Um, I'll go through a brief synopsis of the novel because the back doesn't really give you one and then we'll go into the likes and dislikes of this novel. Okay, so basically this is about Tula Casey and she is spending a summer at a, um, a performance academy, I guess you can say, in a country. She comes from the city and her parents aren't really... Her parents are artists too and they're very, uh, what would I say, they don't give a shit about her at all, really. They're just too absorbed. And so I'm glad you didn't get to see a lot of them. But she goes and stays with a family who have, who are very strange as well. And she meets a lot of strange friends and a lot of strange people. And this whole book is just strange. Now, I'm going to be giving it a three stars because it's kind of, it sits between the borders of being an interesting book and being just stupid for me like I'm not going to read it again but there are some things I like and dislike about it so basically yeah she is at this dance academy and it's about her journey out there and her summer there with her friends meeting new friends meeting boys etc etc uh, if you uh, have read any of Louise Renison's books before, you will know what her style is like. I'll just show you pretty quickly. Um, it's a little bit different to the George and Nicholson series, but it has chapters, little quotes, or little things, and the chapters expand a couple of pages and then it's split up. So it's not in diary form or anything like that, it's just in um, narration form. Yeah, what uh, I'll start with what I disliked about this novel. What I disliked about this novel is that it took a shit long time to actually get it, into it, and that's very common, I guess, for Louise Renison. Uh, I really don't think, after reading as many different books that I have, that this would be um, a very highly rated or highly rated intense YA book uh, it's just that I feel like this would be for like 12 13 year olds but it is good for a read uh, the parts that's that's one thing I really disliked about it is that it took ages it took a hundred pages for even just one thing to happen and this whole book is like that nothing really happens but there is a lot of story um, a lot of character progression in it it's a very fluffy book which is why I liked it I picked it up thinking that I would have a light read and this is what I got out of it very fluffy very um, funny light-hearted not very serious just if you have been reading a lot of serious books or anything like that and you just want something that's pretty vague and you know easy to read easy to get through but you just want to relax, I dare say pick up this book. Um, I will say pick up this book rather. Uh, what I loved about it was that it was funny and I also liked it. Um, I, I like the characters but I don't love them but I did love one of the characters named Ruby. She was about 10 and she was just so weird and funny. Uh, Another dislike about the book, which I'm all over the place when I'm trying to make this review, is that I really just didn't get half the things that were going on in this book. So I'm pretty sure most of you probably would, but when I was reading it, I was just very disinterested. I wanted to finish this book like really quickly, and I thought that I would considering it's really big like words, and it's pretty like it's a pretty small book and everything like that it's like 300 pages but and it's taken me I think about two weeks to read so not exactly the best book in the world um, yeah so 
cover wise I picked it up because A I love Louise Renaissance well I used to love Louise Renaissance books but um, now yeah I'm a little bit not interested anymore in these kind of books but I love the cover I love the little owls the hot pink owls and on the back it's got the owls as well I think that's cute and it's a hardback cover and it's got all these kisses all over it that's the spine and the cover I would give this cover a 5 out of 5 for sure uh, I think it's pretty much yeah like I said it's pretty much what grabbed my attention when I realized that she had a new book out and I wanted it purely because the book is just delightful it's chunky and yeah so that is my review on this book uh, Louise Renaissance Withering Tights pick it up if you like light fluffy reads not really anything to it in my perspective um, yeah that's just me there wasn't really anything to it it's just one of those fluffy books that makes not a lot of sense but has a final outcome so yeah that's that and quickly I'm just going to mention that I'm not even going to review this book but I'm going to say if you are a writer or anything you like reading literature obviously you wouldn't be on my channel if you didn't but if you are like reading about writing but not how-to books or anything like that pick up a copy of Writing Down the Bones I believe it's at least 20 years old now but this copy is not 20 years old it's fairly inexpensive. It is beautifully written. One of my favourite books for this year. One of my favourite books, period. And um, it's very short chapters. And she shares her writing life and that of others and stories. And it's very humorous, very raw. And I love it so much. So pick up a copy of Writing Down the Bones. So that is my two quick reviews. I'm trying to get my head into perspective of reviewing. Just really not much in the mood for doing them right now. So I'm going to read and then maybe do a review next weekend. I'll do my written reviews. But um, yeah, I'm just, I can't articulate my my words properly right now and I'm a bit sick so it's been a bit hard but I want to get out to some book reviews because I haven't done some in a while and I know I've been loading you guys up with videos and I might as well just do another video and then yeah so thank you guys for watching and I really appreciate your support and patience with me when I can't really articulate myself but yeah I hope that review helps if you're looking for that book, Withering Tights by Lewis Renison, and happy reading. Bye.